What's up YouTube, Josh here with JCS Customs coming at you with a quick and cool video. With that being said, let's get this video started. So I wanna thank y'all for tuning in. If you haven't already, smash the like button on this video and be greatly appreciated if you would smash the subscribe button as well as I am always putting videos out. So, um, so yeah, super quick video today. So a lot of people when they get Camaros and not only Camaros, but other sports cars as well, they wanna know the numbers, the zero to 60 time, the quarter mile time, and you know, the lap time around the track. Um, so when you search online, a lot of people's like, man, my Camaro didn't come with a zero to 60 timer. I'm having to use the manual timer, you know, hit start and hit stop. And um, all that does is create the, the ability for human error. Um, so what a lot of people do, do not know is that every Camaro model does have a built-in zero to 60, um, timer in it as well as lap timer and stuff like that. So <clears throat> a lot of people think that's just ZL1 and SS's, but it is every model Camaro. When these cars come from the manufacturer and dealership, a lot of settings aren't set as default settings. So we're going to show you how to access the zero to 60 timer and how to change it properly because it isn't set up as like that originally. All right, so we got our car on here. Nothing's been done to it. It's just sitting in sports mode, sitting in the garage. So when you cluster here, you can see that you can scan in between everything and you go down a little bit and you see you got the timer here and a lot of people use this for the zero to 60. But what that does is introduces human error. You're not gonna start this exactly when you start rolling or you know, you're not gonna stop it exactly at 60 miles per hour. This is difficult to do. So, let's go back to the top here. There we go, we got the glare off of it. You're gonna scroll over and go to options. Select that. You're gonna see your units here, scroll down and you'll see info pages. Hit right, edit list. Now, we're at the top of the list, and this is things that you can take off and put on. So if you scroll down, you have an option for fuel economy, which is pretty cool. We're gonna add that and just see what that looks like. And then performance timer, there it is. We're gonna select it, and we're gonna select lap, lap timer as well. I'm gonna exit, we're gonna go back and go up to info, and it's gonna be on there. So let's just scroll up, because it's closer to this side. There's your lap timer, and there's your performance time, uh, timer. So, one thing I said earlier that you will have to edit this because for some reason, when you first um, check this to be in your list, this is gonna say zero to 62 miles per hour, not zero to 60. The way to change that is, is hit over to the right and go to set stop speed. So, once again, when you first click this, it's gonna say 62 and it's gonna go up by five. So when you press up, it'll go to 67, you know, 82, 87. So what you wanna do is go all the way up to 155 where it stops. When it does that, it resets it to an, you know, a, an, uh, sets it to a five. So when we scroll down, it'll start going down by five itself. And then you can set it to 60. So what's cool about this is you do not have to press this to start this timer. As soon as you start rolling, this timer starts. So that eliminates the possibility of human error, which is really nice. And it stops as soon as you hit 60. So we're gonna take a stroll right down the garage here so you can see that this starts as soon as I start rolling. There we go. So, you know, obviously I'm not gonna hit 60 miles per hour in my driveway because I'd be stupid and I'd probably ramp that curb and then go straight through that window there or break that fence that just got fixed. So, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna put it in reverse. Make sure I don't ram into the wall. And just to reset it, just hold this and it'll zero it out. So. 
pretty simple and cool little trick. By the way, if you did see a slight delay in the timer starting um, when I was pulling out of the garage, it's because I did not press the gas pedal. Um, when you start pressing that gas pedal, it starts immediately. So I was just rolling with it and drive, honestly. So um, that was the reason for the delay. All right, YouTube, now you have a way to accurately get you a good zero to 60 number. Just had to dig through the, uh, the info pages a little bit, and I'm sure that the owner's manual mentions this somewhere within it. So just dig those manuals out and check through them. So, um, yeah, I mean, I hope you enjoyed this video. And obviously, since we have the zero to 60 timer on here now, guess what's coming very soon? A zero to 60 video of this car. Um, this car is modded. I have a Borla Attack axle back on the back and a cold air inductions, um, cold air intake installed as well. So not too much, but it's going to affect it a little bit. So we're going to see what we can run. Um, the cops are real bad down here where I live. So I'm going to try to find some smooth road and uh, somewhere where I won't get, you know, possibly somewhere I, I won't get in trouble for speeding so um get that video out for y'all so until next time youtube i appreciate y'all watching peace out